Okay guys, I'm going to start uh, trying to remove this floor. I'm going to start by drilling out the 900 spot welds. I'll hold the seat brackets on and then the subframe mounts and see if we can get this removed. But anyhow, that's where I'm at as of now and I will turn this back on when i got some more to show. Thanks for watching guys. Okay guys, I got the uh, subframe mounts out. All the holes I've made out of it as well as the seat pan. And you can see how bad the floor was. And so the plan on this side is pretty much the same thing I did on the other side. I'm just going to cut it. Uh, I'll do a rough cut first. And I'll basically end up cutting it somewhere in here. Because all that's hidden underneath that torque box or whatever the spring the thing that the spring pocket bolts into across here and it'll be butt welded uh, I'll probably come up come up here above this piece I'll cut this I need to cut this out still and then I can just reinstall this in the new piece of quarter uh, I'm sorry floor pan and it'll get welded all the way across to here and then spot welded in here like the factory did it and as far as on this side here uh, I'm going to cut it here tight and then uh, cut off all the spot welds to the inner rocker. And we'll just punch a bunch of holes in the new one again and weld it on like the way the factory did. But anyhow, that's where I'm at, and I will turn this back on when I get some more done. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, I got my rough cut done and the floor out. I've already cleaned up the rocker. And so I'm ready to start fitting the uh, floor pan section. I did already cut it across here and notched it there and back there. And so I just need to start getting it to uh, fit a little bit better. And then I'll end up cutting up here. Uh, I think I might have boo booed and cut up a little bit too high here. So I may need to add a piece in. We'll have to wait and see. When I laid it in there a minute ago, it looked like I was going to have a gap about... Uh, I don't know, something like that to about right here. And so I may have to tend with that. But I'm probably going to try to uh, cut this just a little bit higher, maybe right up here on the curve, and then come up you know, all the way across like I did the other side. But uh, that's where I'm at as of now, and I will turn this on when I got some more done. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, here's the test fit on this. It's got a pretty good gap all the way across there. Although I blew it up here, I'm gonna have to add a section when I cut that. It's got a hump right here that this new pan doesn't, so I'm gonna have to kind of work around that somehow. And I got my gap a little wide back here, but I think I can fill it in okay. Other than that, everything looks good. Looks like it's gonna have a nice tight uh, gap across there. I don't even have it clamped in the front yet, but it'll pull over. But uh, all in all, I think it fits pretty good. I got all my holes drilled, all the holes for the rocker panel, uh, the well here to the rocker panel uh, drilled. And so um, I think it'll be good. But uh, that's where I'm at as of now. I'm going to go ahead and hang it up for this evening and uh, start on again tomorrow. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Well, here's where I'm at so far. I used uh, my last grinding disc, and so I still need to grind all the welds across here. Uh, still need to put the seat belt anchor in, but um, so far it looks like it's turning out pretty good. I added a small section in here. But uh, anyhow, that's where I'm at as of now. Um, I'll update this uh, some more when I get some more done. I'm going to have to run back down to Harbor Freight and get some more uh, discs for my grinder. And we'll keep on chugging. But yeah, I appreciate y'all watching and have a great day. Okay, guys, here's the finished up uh, floor pan install on the driver's side of the car. I repaired the little rusted section right there. 
And so aside from, I'm going to take a grinder with a big wire brush and just hit this entire floor, but I'm not going to do it now. Um, I'll do it later, and then I'll epoxy the floor. Um, I got a little more welding to clean up over there, and I actually need to grind the welds on that side, but uh, I think as far as I'm at right now, I'm ready to flip the car over and start working on the bottom side of the floor to clear up the other side of the welds and hopefully get those to disappear. I ordered a rear spoiler for it and a, a new top for the dash so that I can take care of this uh, rust up here. And so as soon as that gets here, I'll probably get going on that. But uh, anyhow, uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, floor pans are pretty much in, aside from a little grinding and a little glaze over the over the wells to kind of make them disappear. But it's all butt welded in, and it turned out you know pretty good for what it is. So I guess that's it for now. I appreciate everybody watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. Have a good day, guys.